Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm gonna update you guys on uh, the Corviknight set because my video about the top 3 meta builds of Corviknight got really really popular so I decided that I'm gonna show you guys the most popular uh, Corviknight build of uh, at this moment or this month. Basically the Iron Defense Body Press set has been way down here. No, hardly anyone's been using it right now. What's gotten really popular is this Bulk Up Roost set. So these four moves are the most popular moves because bulk up gives you a lot of offensive potential and also defensive potential because it gives you plus one defense and plus one um, attack as well. With Roost it leverages that setup and allows you to heal up for the late game and Brave Bird and Iron Head are really good stabs. Uh, item wise, a lot of people are still using leftovers but I believe that Lumberry is the best uh, a best item to prevent any um, sleeps, any paralysis, any burns for example as Corviknight is susceptible to all three and they're all really really potent. Um, lot other choices are definitely safety goggles. Safety goggles been rising up in popularity because of Amoongus and uh, Moranga Berry because this helps you survive a lot of special attack moves because bulk up only increases defense and attack. This allows you to get a special defense uh, increase as well so that makes you more defenses on the special side as well and lastly weakness policy um, this one is less popular because it's really hard to proc the weakness policy on Corviknight because it, it, it will just do too much damage to it otherwise so uh, this one's less popular but you, you can still use it I, I would recommend Lumberry, Safety Goggles and Moranga Berry I wouldn't use leftovers unless you are the iron defense set which is not as popular as you can see there's only 11 like 22% plus 11% people using this set and also the tailwind set is completely gone being 7% under the iron defense so people are still running iron defense and the taunt, taunt not many people are running taunt they're running this uh, setup heavy attacker kind of set and EV wise they're running max speed max attack which is very fine I would opt for something like this which is more optimized uh, I'm currently using this one as I really like this um, however this one is a little bit more aggressive as you can see there's less uh, HP but more into the attack and this one's got all the rest into attack 84 attack is to allow at like plus one or two you can Oko uh, Togekiss and 164 is a really good speed mark for uh, Corviknight as two airstreams allows you to outspeed Dragapult but Dragapult will not be a thing in, in series 6 however I still think this you should still use 164 because it, it's, it's a pretty good uh, speed mark but uh, if you want a more aggressive one go with this 180 attack I'm pretty sure this is the equivalent uh, of this set but at plus two attack compared to this where you probably just need one bulk up and you're ready to go and killing a lot of threats at the same time so I recommend this set at this current time and yeah that's the overall Corviknight set this bulk up set is absolutely insane it's it does so much damage and it and you can tank a lot as well especially when you Dynamax this after the bulk up set and uh, you get Iron Heads uh, uh, like Steel Spikes defense boost up and uh, speed boost with this and what I'm going to show you guys today is a Runguru Instruct set with this so that means you can quickly get to plus two bulk up you can get two bulk ups in one turn and you can go Dynamax and you basically get three extra stats you know and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the video if you like uh, the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment on the section below if you like these uh, little quick breakdowns Thank you guys, and let's jump in to the action. Okay guys, heading into our game. This is a post commentary just to so you guys know because I recorded this, you know, I was chilling out and just playing a few games, but this, I, I always record games because uh, I like watching re my own replays to see how I can improve and stuff, but I, I want to show you guys this, uh, this footage as well because uh, it it's really cool, like the, the this team really functions quite well. This is the L Lorantis team we're using for Series 6 we replaced it, placed the Magma Zone for a Corviknight and it's been working as well or maybe even better because 
this syn this synergizes so well this uh, Corviknight plus Oranguru combo where you can actually go for a bulk up plus um, plus instruct so, so you can quickly get off to um, bulk ups really on the first turn and that allows you to sweep with Corviknight even with a more um, HP invested Corviknight compared to the the, the popular Picolytic set which is which was running 180 attack but this allows you for the best scenario. I opt for um, the Corviknight Oranguru lead because uh, his lead seemed really it was either Sun or like Venusaur so I could easily set up because uh, there's no way he's gonna Dynamax as Venusaur as Corviknight is a is a really good check for Venusaur but we won't see any Venusaur in Series 6 anymore so I get the bulk up off we get nice bulk up action and then we quickly instruct and do it again so we're now at plus 2 attack and plus 2 defense so all of his physical attacks will do nothing and his Venusaur that we, we know he's got uh, will do something but Corviknight resists all of it so we're, we're in a pretty good position now and at the moment we've I, f I think this is, it'll be too greedy to go for another uh, bulk up <laughs> to get to plus 4 as uh, there's there's an option of us getting burnt or Incineroar just going hard with uh, with Flare Blitz and stuff. So I think the, the safest option is to to Dynamax. I, I opt for a Max Airstream because I want to start uh, building up the speed so I can destroy so I can outspeed and destroy the Dragapult after plus two airstreams. Uh, not, but I went for the target on the Incineroar, which could have been a mistake as he actually ends up Dynamaxing it, which is a really, really good option because he needs as much damage as possible uh, into the Corviknight because his team is not very good against the Corviknight. So you, you can already see the power of Corviknight. It, it's, you need very specific counters to, to kill the Corviknight. This means you can run this uh, aggressive bulk up set because if they lead wrong, you get a free bulk up off basically. And uh, if they re lead, if they don't adjust quickly enough, you can easily sweep with the bulk up. So he dynamaxes his incineral, which makes, which is really bad because he's running this supportive uh, dragapult set with will o wisp. So I'm gonna get will o wisps unfortunately so my plus two boost won't be as insane as it would be but let's see how much damage this does after two bulk up boosts and an intimidate drop from his own uh, incineral that only did like 10 percent 20 percent or something that's insane and my airstream you know did slight did slightly more but yeah, maybe I should have targeted the Dragapult. If I targeted the Dragapult, it wouldn't be a problem. But I was, a f I was, I was actually in the impression that the Dy he was got to Dynamax his Dragapult. So I wanted to Oko the Incineroar, get some air boost first. Uh, I mean, airstream boost first to later out target the Dragapult. But this turn, I have to go for the Dragapult um, target because it's really, really scary. Um, because it's got Will O Wisp and he's already burnt my. Lumberry as well, so we have to go target the Dragapult, or he will just do too much. Uh, that that shows you the utility and why it got banned this Dragapult because it just can go both ways. It can go attacker, it can go super physical attacker, it can go super special attacker too. It can even be a really good support set as well. So here we go. We're gonna go with a Brick Break onto Incineroar. I, this could potentially be a mistake if. The Incineroar's on um, weakness policy. However, I think I do get the knockout on the drag pole. Oof, I just miss it by just a little bit, which is really, really unfortunate. Uh, so I should have definitely double target that. And I don't know why I opted to go for a brick break. Oh, it's because the, the drag pole is set up screens on the first turn. So yeah, it's actually on weakness policy, but this should actually still do not too much damage at plus one. Okay, that did a lot in the sun. So we're now in a bad situation because of that. But now I've got two plus two, so we should be outspeeding all of his team right now. So not to worry, even the Oranguru will, will outspeed. So we should be able to get out, get the knockout on Incineroar and also Dragapult. 
and that will be really, really good. But we'll see what he, he opts to do. He withdraws the Dragapult actually, which is a, a good choice to say the least. And he goes into Licky Licky. Means he gets his Licky Licky in with minimal damage, which is very, very good. Because I decided to target the Incineroar. I do about the same damage. But this Incineroar is a huge threat because it was on the weakness policy. And I get the foul play onto the Licky Licky. He opts for Max Darkness, so I think he was thinking I was gonna protect or something. Instead, so he he opted to not kill the Corviknight, which could be pretty fatal for him because uh, the Corviknight is still you, you know basically weakness policy boosted, but slightly better because it's on defense. We're gonna send out um, Volcarona here. Lurantis is good for the back, but losing his partner Oranguru is really, really sad for it, so... We're, we're gonna come out with the Volcarona first. We'll, we'll, ha we'll set up Lorantis at the end to be able to sweep really well. Alright, so both our Dynamaxes ran out, so... We could opt for a Roost. We're opting... I think we're opt thinking of Roosting because we can uh, potentially stall out a turn for from Incineroar. If he decides to like flare blitz into that slot he will die for recoil and it puts on more it puts on a lot of uh, pressure if he d decides not to target into the Corviknight. But in Sun I feel like flare blitz will kill uh, through the roost anyway so maybe I should have opted for attack here but I, I really wanted to be able to uh, keep the Corviknight alive even though it's burnt uh, it, it still has a lot of pressure because it's on plus 2 attack and plus 2 defense, which is absolutely insane. So the heat wave comes off, which is real nice. Hopefully it knocks out the Incineroar. It actually does and it is a chunk to Licky Licky. So that's really, really good. So the Corv Knight might actually survive here. And I get body slammed by this Licky Licky. Getting paralyzed, unfortunately. That's a lot of damage, actually. That's surprisingly a lot of damage. Licky Licky is fat, man. Look at that tongue. Alright, what's his last... His last Pokemon is obviously Venusaur, because we saw it at the beginning. So... But he's... Oh, no, no, no. He still has got his Dragapult still quite healthy. So we can go for another Roost here, because he might go for a Phantom Force, or we can go for the kill on the Dragapult. But... I, I think I like this. I think I'm gonna just go for like a Will-O-Wisp or maybe a Heat Wave to get the double KO here. I know the Volcarona hasn't got any air speed, air, air stream boost, so it's gotta get outsped by the Dragapult. But this Dragapult is pretty supportive, so I, I'm thinking it doesn't have that many attacking moves. And especially because I got but double status, I might be fine here. He opts for a Light Screen here, which is very, very good I think for him because the heat wave might not KO now on the Licky Licky but no I, I basically got a free uh, free double roost off so my Corviknight is back to 4 HP now and it's really good as he was trying to set up for a late game Venusaur sweep however he didn't target the Corviknight so it means the Volcarona and Corviknight can easily clean up the Venusaur he got the sun and everything for the uh, Venusaur but he just bought it once, one turn too late, uh, meaning I, uh, and also he didn't talk, he couldn't finish off the Corviknight, which was his biggest mistake. I think if he fin could finish off the, the Corviknight, it would, the game would end right here. But now I can just go for a Brave Bird and a Heat Wave, which should connect and kill the Venusaur most often. Very, very likely to do that, and we got the KO. And this shows you the power of uh, the new body set, bo body set, bulk up, uh, bulk up roost set coming from the the Corviknight. Uh, but I've increased that potential with um, with Instruct, and that sh that gives a bulkier Corviknight a quicker way to set up as well. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys l like the video, make sure to hit the like button, of course. And uh, 
comment and subscribe and remember guys you can join the discord link in the description below and also i stream every friday on twitch.tv slash pp5 every friday at 7 p.m so catch me there peace out guys hopefully you have a good one